If you bring that couple in and you look in detail at what has been done and what may have been missed, you can find different approaches or you can find things that can be addressed to go ahead and allow those couples to then have children. So a lot of the cases that we see here involve couples where they've attempted to have treatment before and they've been told that there's no opportunity for treatment. So the patient, for example, who has no sperm in his ejaculate, but he has an attempt to do a biopsy to extract sperm out, and the biopsy misses sperm that are actually present. So here's a couple who've now been told they have no chance to have their own biological children. Well, often if you bring that couple in and you look in detail at what has been done and what may have been missed, you can find different approaches or you can find things that can be addressed to go ahead and allow those couples to then have children. And I think there's nothing more uh, exciting than to take a couple who are at, at zero in terms of expectations and provide them the result of finding sperm, having a pregnancy, and having a child through that process.